Bitch, I'm on my mother's side. When you say my name, put some respect on it. I ain't playing with y'all. Put some respect on it. And I ain't gonna say it. And I ain't gonna say it no more. Listen, now I could have pulled up, put some respect on it. But that ain't What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up, you two? It's your boy Aaron Wise Out TV coming to you with another video. Now, before we get into today's topic, child, I'm going to need y'all to support. Okay. You can support this channel by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing this video. Also, click that notification bell to be notified whenever I go live. Okay. And also, Follow all of my social medias in the description below, okay? All right. So let's start with, listen, we're not going to prolong this video, okay? So, let me hit with just a disclaimer. This video is just for entertainment purposes. Everything said in this video does not mean to hurt anyone. Enjoy. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Huh, <sighs> ciao. And more in DJ Academics, who's not a real DJ. Child, there's some more nastiness coming from his closet, child. So, I don't know what time I'm going to put this out, but I already spoke on a previous story with um, about Academics. But, child, it just keeps getting worse. Well, listen, I ain't got to tell you. We just going to, we just going to um see it for yourself. So, I was on Twitter, you know, doing my little scrolling on a little Twitter. I see a post from a Twitter user, and it had the caption, Allegedly, academics is linking and flying out underage girls and keeping in contact with girls to turn 18 to have sex with. This is a new story. By the way, let me just pull it up so y'all can so we could read it together. Okay. Let's read it together. So here it is. This is the new story, and there are multiple girls coming out about him, making them drink to the point they're unconscious and unresponsive so he can assault them. Hmm. Wow. Let's look at the receipts. This is DJ Academic Page. You see the blue check, all that. Okay. And this was dated back in 2009. 2019. Says, where are you from? Um, the young lady says, Michigan. When you 18, October 23rd. Um, Okay. Did you already make your video? No. Hello. Well, can it, can I be in it? Uh, yeah. Goes on. This is him with the, uh, with the, un no, what well, this is dated 20. So she's now 18 because this is the 20th and this was dated back in 19. Uh, 19, the year of uh, 2019. So this is the 20th. So this is the seventh month, seventh month, the 16th day, and the 20th, 2020. So she is now 18. Um, okay. Also, it said, I linked with him this year and it felt different, and I realized he was a predator. So I didn't have sex with him. Now he got his B-I-T-C-H harassing me, calling me a fan. I linked him in July for the last time. 
he invited a girl over and he said he wasn't sure if she was 17 or 18, but he'll still F her. He kept trying to make us drink and take our clothes off while we were in the backyard. It also goes on. So I've been dealing with him since I was 17, but he waited to fly me out until I turned 18. He would get me drunk AF to F me and record it. He has hella tapes of me drunk out of my mind. Every year when he gets a new cum rag, they DM me and harass me to tell me I'm crazy, etc. Even though I never talked about him or really exposed him for being the predator that he is. So, y'all, this just keeps getting wilder. Why is this man not locked up? I'm I'm just so appalled at why academics has not been locked up. Why nobody has called this out, okay? So, now, something just peaked, just raised my eyebrows about watch, about just reading this post. So, and I'm going to read this post back to y'all. Allegedly, academics is linking and flying out underage girls and keeping in contact and keeping in contact with girls to turn 18 to have sex with them. This is a new story, and there are multiple girls coming out about him making them drink to the point they're unconscious and unresponsive so he can assault them. Now, this just kind of raised the eyebrows making them drink to the point of their unconscious and unresponsive so he can assault them. Now, y'all, I just, um, let's go to the, the video that I just um, got. And it's an old video. And this video is literally him literally hitting on a young lady, pushing, you know, pulling, and he's screaming at her. And you can clearly tell that the young lady is inebriated. She's drunk out of her mind. She don't know where she is. That's what it seems like to me. Now, let's go back to that. Let's go back. And this is the, this is the video in question. so crazy that he has this energy more towards women than um grown men because academics it's so crazy that you you know a first time meeting you um it was um on that show that's no longer um airing everyday struggle with joe buddy and the the person I think his name was Vince Mensa. Bro, you did not have this same energy that you're having with this girl in said video with Vince Mensa. Because didn't Vince, Vince Mensa threaten to slap the sh out of you? And you sat there and did Nathan. Shout out to Mona Simone. You sat there and did Nathan. How many 
grown men have threatened you to put hands on you. And what did you do after? You either went silent or you cried on the internet like a sissy. Yeah. You ain't have that energy towards Saucy Santana. You tried to cry wolf and try to make it, a, oh, if I put my hands up, then it's a hate crime. <laughs> but it's okay for you to keep constantly coming after female rappers and disrespecting them. You have disrespected City Girls, Megan Thee Stallion. You have definitely obsessed and target them but once a man stands up and defend them you cry with your tail you cry and run with your tail between your um between your legs you are not a man and it's sad somebody said this hope you don't beat women behind closed doors cuz you come close to it on video any MF that wakes up drinking liquor at 8, 8 a.m. every morning is a little sus, though. Yeah. And also, let's take, let's take a look at something else that's nasty. Child, let's go to this. Oh, oh. This wasn't this. Hold on. So, academics. I didn't even see this video. So, this Twitter user said, but academics won't yelling like you, won't be yelling like you was big act when them dudes pressed you. Oh, some more dudes pressed them. Let's take a look. I don't really like that though. Look at him scary. All right, let's get enough of that. But we already know that's what it is. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. So this, give me one second. This video, child, a Twitter user go um writes, goes on to writes on um go on to post academic goes on rants about he doesn't mind messing with underage girls in his words i don't care if she was 17 she's gonna get this d-i-c-k so let's hear it from the horse's mouth and to keep it real if you think about it in the bigger scheme of things there's not much difference between a 20 or a 17 or a 21 and a 17. Just kind of mean one's a minor and one's not a minor. But I will say, listen, I adopted this rule, which I think it was fine. I said, listen, man, as long as the chick got a college ID, she's getting fucked. I don't care if she's 17. I don't care if she's 17 and a half. I don't care if she just turned 17. She's going to get this dick. And to keep it real, if you think about it in the bigger scheme of things, that's freaking thick to have that kind of mindset that if a 17 year old girl has a college ID she's gonna get the D just because she has a college ID There's clearly a difference. You just said it in the video. 
that one's not a minor and one is. A 70-year-old can't even buy cigarettes, let alone liquor. Somebody lock this motherfucker up. I need somebody to lock him up. I don't know why he's still out, out in the sun breathing right now. This is going to be the downfall of DJ Academics because he thinks he's untouchable. And you're and you're clearly not. I'm so surprised that someone hasn't either put hands on you, put cuffs on you, but something's got to give because it's so many nastiness. First of all, you, you just, child, I could go on and on and on, but I'm not. When we when we start in the paperwork, when first of all, when are we canceling this dude? First of all, in my opinion, we don't really have to cancel, but he just needs to be out of the algorithm. And at this point, he's another one. Now I just did a video on this brother. Oh, and let's. Give me one second, you guys. So, DJ Academics, DJ Academics responded to the video that I've um I put out. From the last video I put out about him and about the horrific, um, the disturbing video of the screams that the woman, um, I think is supposedly his girlfriend, ex-girlfriend. I don't know what he is. Basically, they've been together for two years off and on. So there's a video that's, um, that is circulating through the internet and it's literally this hardening, it's haunting, it's chilling. This woman is screaming at the top of her lungs because she's being assaulted by two of his friends. Now, academics already said his part, and I already um, reported on it, and I reported both sides, academics part and the lady, the woman's part. But also, he responds to that heart disheartening and chilling video of the of the lady screams being assaulted. He responds to said video, and let me pull it up. Give me one second, you guys. Let me share my screen. So, academic goes on to respond to said video because it's it's titled Ac hashtag academics catches his girlfriend smashing his friends in his house. Academic goes on to say fake news as a s f as f. This video is a drunk woman who never got smashed by nobody's friends. LOL. Why would you put LOL? You think it's a joke? Got you. She's screaming because she's seen blogs posted a clip of me talking about her 
and it made her look bad. Try again. Two things can be um, true. That she's screaming because she's seen the blogs posted, but she could also be screaming because your friends are literally smash, literally assaulting her. You literally said it in your first video of you explaining what the hell took place. Somebody get this man off of my, get this man off of my, um, you know, get him off of my computer, get him off of social media. I need his account deactivated. I need his Twitch deactivated. Like if, if this man has any endorsements or anything, I need them all to be taken now. He is a disgusting human being. He is a foul gutter snipe. He is low of the low. He is scum. He think this is funny and it's not. It's not going to hit you until it hits your pockets. I want to know y'all opinion about what I just showed y'all. What do y'all think about the um the the uh, about what I just talked about? What I want to know y'all opinions about everything. Please put it down in the in the comment section below. Please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. Click that notification bell to be notified whenever I go live. Subscribe to my channel. Please, y'all, and keep it respectful in the comment section. Okay, let's agree to disagree. It's okay to agree to disagree. We all not we're we're all not going to agree on everything, and it wouldn't be it. It just wouldn't feel right if we all agree on um similar topics. So let's all agree. Let's all di disagree. Okay. So uh, let me know about what I just showed y'all. I can't wait. I can't wait to see y'all comments. I will see y'all in the next video. I have some more content to put out there. And I will see y'all in the next video. Later, guys.